Woo, woo, woo. Uh-oh. <laughs> you wanna hear my Steve-O impression I've been working on? Hey guys. <laughs> when Knoxville wanted to shoot me in the head with a 50 caliber rifle, I knew we had to take it up another notch. And after Bam killed his whole family for Jackass 14, I knew we'd have to go wild. So this time, I attached dynamite to my ball sack. <laughs> I mean, that shit blew my little boys to smithereens. I mean, for Jackass 2, I was on crack cocaine. I was listening to Metallica in my trailer nonstop on a 24-hour loop. And so when Spike Jones suggested that I raw dogged his wife, I just had to. Come on, man. I was filling condoms with poop. It's not bad, right? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! This album reminds me of Spring Break. What, just because you weren't allowed on Spring Break that year doesn't mean you gotta hold grudges against me, asshole. It's not that I wasn't allowed, I wasn't invited. Ah, well, what's the difference? You weren't allowed because we didn't want you there. I, but that's not, uh, whatever. Your mom really wanted you to come too. She I know. begged us. She said, please take Riley, he's got no friends. We said, we're skimboarding, he can't hang. <laughs> You really I can't skimboard for shit. Can we please change the subject? Fine. Spring Break 2018. Miami. Lit. Rolls Royce. Phantom. Me. Pitbull. Hulk Hogan. In the club. Drunk as fuck. You know how much I love Hulk Hogan. This is just I, oof, I hate this story. Fine. I'll change the subject. Spring Break 2019. Oh yes, I was out of college for a few years. Still went. Banger of a time. As in South Carolina this time. All sorts of badass shit was going on. <laughs> Fucking NASCAR race was happening. National Bird Watchers Convention. <laughs> Woo, man, that shit was crazy. We shut it down. Had yeah, bottles of, all sorts of bottles. Woo, <laughs> man, I fucking love spring break, dog. I'm going with George. <laughs> George is not included. Motherfucking <laughs> fuck! <laughs> fuck this country. It's Jesus, man. Fuck America. <laughs> why would you think? Fuck America. Be, why would you think it would be George? Because of George Bush <laughs> and his father, George Herbert Bush. <laughs> fuck this country, dude. Wish I was never born. <laughs> well, kind of in line with that, I'm gonna go with Barack. Making that ass clap. What up, Riley? <laughs> you been here the whole time? Yeah, yep. <laughs> Swag, that's Grant. Yeah, that is... I brought Grant with me. What up, what up? Yeah. Okay. I hate to say this because I sound like such a loser. I really do like Western Union more than Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, I probably do too. Really? Yeah. I mean, Bohemian Rhapsody is like fine, but yeah. Western Union's like cool. You know what I mean? If I'm getting in a car and like my friends come in, but they got some friends I've never met before and they're like, oh, can they catch a ride? I'm like, sure, hop in my sick Porsche. Yeah. They all get in there like, wow, this is a nice car. And I turn on Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm not cool guy anymore. Right. If I pop on Western Union and I eat 15 Kratom pills and I floor that fucker, I mean, fuck, man. People are going to be like, this guy's fucking sick, man. And I'll be like, what'd you say back there? And they'll be like, oh, nothing. <laughs> That's how I live my life, man. Fast lane. <laughs> Listening to Drain Gang. Woo! 80 and 81. Huh. Those were good years of my life. 80 and 81. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, my early 80s were really fun, too. Yeah. I did a lot of golf. I was hanging out with Paul Giamatti's dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a good guy. Balthazar Giamatti. Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. Right. Balt, as we call him. Balt, yeah. Died in a drive-by shooting. <laughs> he was trying to kill someone. Correct. Misfired the gun in the car. <laughs> really? Yeah, shot himself. <laughs> Drive by shot himself. Bounced off the rearview mirror. <laughs> Bing! I was hanging out with Al Pacino's dad as well, like during that time as well. Mm -hmm. Greg. <laughs> Greg Pacino. We were like gambling buddies and we would kind of like hit the town. We were really into cocktails too. We'd had a yeah. cocktail Instagram, but then we were running together where we'd get cocktails from like the best place. We'd say, give us what you think is your best cocktail. <laughs> yeah. And then we'd both write a review of it and put it on Instagram, me and Greg Pacino. And yeah, rest in peace, Greg yeah. Pacino. Died in a drive-by shooting. <laughs> Can you kiss these scratches on my arm? No. They hurt. No, no, no way. I'm not doing that. Your kiss has healing properties, though. I know. And you're being selfish with it. Well, I have to be. Why? Because it's not an unlimited supply. I run really? out. I have to re-up. Yeah, it's like serotonin. Every 28 days, it re-ups. And if I waste it on your little scratches on your arm, then what happens when I witness a car crash? Two minivans. Families of five crash into each other. <laughs> Stop laughing at that. What? I mean, it's funny. But if I don't have my healing saliva, then what's going to happen to all the children in there? <laughs> Let's see where we go.
they're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's not cool, man. Like I'm gonna, you know, spit on their arms and legs and then <laughs> rub it in. And they'll yeah. be, they'll be like, thank you. You're gonna spit on children. That's your well, that, to that's save your, them. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the solution. only time I would do it. Obviously, <laughs> that's your solution. Yes, my solution is my healing spit all over the bodies, <laughs> <laughs> the mutilated bodies of these, yeah. of these children. <laughs> these children who've yeah. just gotten in a terrible car crash. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I just wanted Correct. you to articulate that and hear Correct. yourself. I'll say it. So that's why I won't kiss the little scratches on your arms. Okay. Angels. Yeah. I hate the imagery. God's little feathered freaks or whatever. Like three ago, you were talking about how much of a believer you are. Yeah, I'm a man of God, not the little feathered freaks that people paint pictures of and stuff. Angels aren't real. God <laughs> is. <laughs> An angel's not going to save you. You pray to God, not <laughs> fucking bird person. Why do they have wings anyway? What a line to draw. <laughs> just... You'll believe in the man in the sky, but all of a sudden when he has his little like feathered angel servants, you're like, no way those things exist? No way. Okay. Well, He's not a man in the sky. He's an all-powerful being. Yeah. People just personify him to make sense in their little shrimp minds. <laughs> How did this one come to be? Well, I think it's just like, it comes a lot with her imagery. Like her imagery is very like angelic. I think yeah. she, and she's also very like generous to her fans. Like I feel like she thinks of them very highly. She's like Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah, I guess she's like the Mr. Beast of pop music, yes. I don't know, this one's just falling really flat for me. We're the angels. It's also too vague, like I, I'm not getting any hint of who you're a super fan of. Okay, that's fair. As just a name, I like Charlie XCX a lot, me but too. I will surrender that, that it's not a, the super creative, it's not a super creative name. Yeah, and it doesn't like get the point across. Yeah, that's fair. You're like, hey, where are my angels at? You're gonna have a lot of different people coming <laughs> up. Like, Self-righteous freaks from all over the world are gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm an angel, I help these kids by spitting on them. <laughs> shit, you know, shit right, like that. Shit like that, yeah. Um, <laughs> I see you go C with it then? Yeah, C is good for me. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. You guys wanna make this one interesting? Yeah. $20 to a charity of your choice for whoever the winner is? Whoa. Can, can the charity be the liquor store? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love when I hear that song in public because it has no business playing anywhere. Like it's not like an ambiance kind of song and you'll hear it in like the lobby of an apartment complex or something. <laughs> Sam, maybe I should kill myself. <laughs> it shouldn't be played in public. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> the bears pleasing Goldilocks, or was Goldilocks pleasing the bears? No, I don't mean it like that. Get your head yeah, out of here. Yeah, come on, stop that. Get your head out of your ass. It's with the porridge thing. Like, right. who was eating the porridge? Was Goldilocks eating the porridge and saying, too hot, too cold? Or was it the bears? Yeah, I don't know. I literally don't remember. Oh, I forget, actually. Oh, See what I mean? fuck. Were the bears holding her hostage? What's I don't know. They, those old tales were so fucking stupid anyway. Yeah. They didn't teach me anything. I learned more from watching Full House. <laughs> Rested in peace, John Stamos. He's alive. Not for long. <laughs> Shit pants by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Is that his real song? No. Caught me in a lie. It's not a real song. I was trying to be funny and I... I'm grasping for straws here. Nowadays, the turtles are mutant, but rarely do they even become teenage because of the straws in the ocean. We don't, they don't live to their teenage years because their eyes get poked out by our straws from our McDonald's cups. Not my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's giving straws in their eyes. It's a Juno sample, right? It's Juno, correct. Yeah. Wasn't allowed to see that movie. Why? Michael Sarah told me not to. <laughs> oh, he didn't like his performance? <laughs> he said he, was, <laughs> said he was mid and he posted cringe. <laughs> Really? He's yeah. very ahead of his time to say that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was, was like, like the early 2000s. <laughs> he said, Diggy boy, don't bother going seeing my new flick. It's mid and I posted cringe. I lost a lot of subs. There were L's in the chat. It was totally not based. It was sus. <laughs> yeah, it was a sussy <laughs> performance, honestly. <laughs> my performance was sus. <laughs> yeah, a 68 is like getting upside down head from a snowman. Yeah, that'd be fire. Does right? he have a carrot cock too? Or is it just the nose? It just depends on what part of the world you're in. Oh, really? Yeah, it's yeah. a regional thing. So cool to see culture all kind of celebrate their own way. You yeah. know what I mean? My family was so rich growing up, we used a PS5 as the nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just jam a PS5 <laughs> in there and all the poor kids would try and come and steal it. We'd shoot them with BB guns. That seems dystopian. A PS5 shoves in a snowman's face. It yeah. seems really, really dystopian. Yeah. Wait, when were, were PS5s out? Oh, yeah. Were, we were, were really rich. <laughs> you were a rich kid when PS5s were out? No, they weren't out for the general public. Oh, that's it's how like rich we were, you were. Exactly. Yeah. We had 
access to the future. Status. Look at I kind of did like an avant-garde Johnny Bravo. <laughs> yeah, it's like Picasso, Johnny Bravo. Bravo, Mr. Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> you should hold that up. I want to show the people your Bravo Picasso. <laughs> I'm horny, baby. What did Johnny Bravo used to say? I made a marble sculpture of my own penis. Sent it to my grandma on accident. <laughs> Got the addresses fucked up in my address book. Who is it supposed to go to? My other grandma. Uh God, it was so embarrassing. I went out with a pee stain the other night and no one told me about it. Uh -huh. Had pee stain on me all night long. Big pee stain right on my shirt. On your shirt? Yeah. Why would you have a pee stain on your shirt? We went to dinner before and the salmon came with like a like a kind of a pea sauce. Oh, and okay. And I spilled some peas on me. Gotcha. And I had, I had green schmutz on me and no one told me about the pee stain. Oh, all over my shirt. I was covered in a big old pee stain. Yeah. Someone could have said, hey buddy, you got some peas on you, you know, but no one said anything. And it wasn't until I got home that I noticed I was covered in a pee stain. And then I got pissed on by my girlfriend. <laughs> and my dad's side. Yeah, dad's side grandma would appreciate a marble sculpture of your penis. Her garden's full of marble penises. Really? Yeah. I sent it to the wrong grandma. She was pissed off and disgusted. <laughs> Wrote me out of the will faster than you could say, Mississippi hickory stick. <laughs> <laughs> Which is ironically yeah, yeah. a fun dip candy bag emptied out of the sugar and filled with cocaine. She would give those to the kids when they had toothaches <laughs> and help them out. A Mississippi hickory stick is, correct me if I'm wrong, a fun dip <laughs> where you empty out the sugar and fill it back up with coke. <laughs> that's okay. That sounds awesome. And I want to do that sometime with you if that's okay. That's fine. Okay. This is a Board Ape Yacht Club NFT. <laughs> I wish we didn't have to say stuff like that. I know, me either. This is a Board Ape Yacht Club NFT. I wish we didn't have to say that. Oh, we went from a, a fake board monkey <laughs> to a real monkey. I'm assuming it's real unless this is like a hyper-realistic NFT, <laughs> in which case I'm in. How much is this? This is a capuchin monkey worth $15,000. It's reasonable. It really makes $15,000 look like chump change. <laughs> Somebody bought a literal drawing of a monkey made by a robot for $400,000. You could buy how many of these? 400, <laughs> something like that. Could have bought a little army of capuchin monkeys. <laughs> they actually have to kill 10 of these monkeys to mint one NFT. <laughs> <laughs> You have to burn 11 of these in a furnace. <laughs> Harry V's house runs on these things being thrown into furnaces. <laughs> he lures them in there with treats and chocolate. <laughs> Three, two, one. Sway Lee. Sway Lee. It is Sway Lee. Yes. What else can go wrong today? <laughs> Three, two, one. Boss Baby 2? Harley Quinn? This is Birds of Prey. That's what I had! <laughs> I had that one written down, God! Why, God? Why would you do that to me? You thought it was Harley Quinn. You were wrong. Just let me trust myself sometimes, big guy. Jesus! I mean, fuck, man! Of course it was bees of pee. Enter. I got posters on the wall at Popeyes. You do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I dressed up as an employee one day and stole a bunch of chicken sandwiches. Kind of a brilliant scheme, yeah. It's awesome. I've been doing that a lot of other places too. I won't name them, but Walmart, Target, <laughs> the casino. I dress up as like a welder and I go in and I just, I torch open the slot machines and take the money out of them. Pretty awesome. Sidebar, I had a dream last night. I was playing roulette. That's how bad my gambling's gotten. I was playing roulette, kind of like Drake does. Yeah. In my dream, like I was playing on, not, it wasn't online, but at the casino, it was weird. It was like space. But I was doing the strategy he does by splitting numbers and like kind of putting the chips around that way. And I hit what they called in my dream a decagon. <laughs> the dealer said that to me. He said, oh, you hit the decagon. And I bet like five bucks and it went to 5,500. And then in my dream, I bought my girlfriend a Christmas present. With the decagon. With the decagon winnings. Sir, a second plane has just hit the decagon. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. They were like, that's a Decagon. And I was like, yep, just like Drake. You know what they say, gambling addiction is a bear and you don't want a poker. Hold them. <laughs> Three, two, one. Breakins. Babyface Ray. This is YNW Melly. Oh, is it the wrong answer? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I saw Blady at a barbecue the other day. He was eating brisket just like a normal man. And I walked up to him, I said, Trash Island. I love it. <laughs> you can go to any bar in town. They're playing Blady all night long. <laughs> Echo 2K, Tie Boy Digital. I mean, all night long. 
We, it was a real barn burner last night. We turned up to Ice Dancer all the way through. DJ let the album play front to back. Woo-wee! I'll tell you what, we were draining harder than a, than a squirrel in a pickle barrel. <laughs> <laughs> My dad don't get the music. But I tell him, shut up, Paul. It's Drain Gang. <laughs> Rip Squad. <laughs> I was grinding on my cousin the Blady. Sorry, I don't want <laughs> Are you on cocaine today? I wish. <laughs> you were like sped up to like 50. You said it's, bring some energy. I know, I wanted you to bring energy, but it's, <laughs> like, it's like sporadic. Like it's hard for me to even like put my finger on, you know? You wanna give me some of these? <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? You wanna ride me like a bike? It's like a mile a minute. <laughs> a mile a minute's not that fast. It's super slow. Oh, it's like a horse <laughs> speed. It's 60 miles per hour. A mile a minute? If you go a mile a minute on a Detroit highway, you're gonna get rear-ended and pushed into a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> and then the tires will be stripped off. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna take the catalytic converter and like the engine out of the front. And then... These are truly essentials. Well, you could live off this for the rest of your life. You could not. Sure. There's no water in there. How do you think the coal is a liquid? Well, okay, sure, fine, whatever. And then you can eat the soap and you can clean yourself with the Eggos and you use the Kool-Aid to Summon the Kool-Aid man if you ever find yourself in a pinch. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You've never <sighs> emptied out a Kool-Aid packet, made a pentagram, slit your wrists over it, and squeezed out a little blood, and then poof, Kool-Aid man appears, and you can give him one task, kind of like a me seeks, but more satanic. Yeah. And then he'll yeah. take care of that task, mm -hmm. top you off, and then he's gone for the night. <laughs> Just the way you navigate life kind of your touch points are not similar to mine. It's becoming hard to be relatable to you. You've never done that. No, I've never made a pentagram out of Kool-Aid powder. Summon the Kool-Aid man so he can come here, I give him one task, he goes and does it, then tops me off and he's on his way. No, that's never happened to me. Did you fucking drink it? Yeah, sometimes I drink Kool-Aid. <laughs> He doesn't show up if you drink it. Don't you have something he could do? I, I'm I, <laughs> He's so... Sorry, I've never been in a pinch and thought, hey, I really wish the Kool-Aid man was here he to has, do one task for me, then give me a blowjob. Think, man, he has infinite strength. He knows like 40 languages. He's merciless. He'll kill babies, old women, whatever is in his way. He'll destroy them. Listen, he can't be linked to the crime. I'm, You're off. Off the hook. Listen, I'm happy for you, man. I like that you have a life that is so exciting and vibrant, but mine is just not relatable, so I'd like to get, just get back to the game. Whatever. Anthony Overton Elementary School. So this person bought a school. <laughs> yes. Okay, how much did they buy the school for? That is not disclosed information. Okay. It is the school that they attended as a child. Oh, so they bought their own school. They bought their own school. I would also like to add that they turned it into a community center. So they stopped it from being a school? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's like buying a hospital and turning it into a Chuck E. Cheese or something. <laughs> Being like, hey, this hospital saved me from liver disease, so I'm gonna buy it and turn it into a, a movie theater. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> oh, this is the ICU? Make it a ball pit. <laughs> Enough doom and gloom around here. Let's have a little fun now that I'm healthy. Bring in the clowns. Let me call the game. He's got a diamond car. I bet you the kids would love that. In all seriousness, this is probably very virtuous and we are only joking. Yes. Public school funding is troublesome across the country and turning it into a community center that you could actually fund seems like a great idea. No, yeah. We are only yes. joking around. It is a, probably a great thing and it has helped that community yeah. greatly. And the worst thing you could do is like turn it into a private school. Right. <laughs> Where like people like, you would have went. <laughs> fucking yeah. We get high, we get fat, huh? Simple as that. I thought it was gonna be Jack Flash sat on a candlestick, and fire is the devil's only friend. Planes fly high into the night. Too light that sacrificial flight. I saw Satan laughing with delight. Yeah. The day the music died. Yeah. And they were singing, Bye bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. And good old boys were drinking whiskey and rye, singing, This'll be the day that I die. Singing, This'll be the day that I die. I met a girl who sang the blues. And I asked her for some happy news. She just smiled and turned away. And I went down to the sacred store 
For I heard that music years before, but the men there said the music wouldn't play. And in the streets, the children screamed, the lovers cried and the poets dreamed. Not a word was spoken. The church bells all were broken. <laughs> And the three men I admire most, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, they caught the last train for the coast. The day the, the music, music died. died. Yeah, yeah. Don McLean, ladies and gentlemen. Don McLean.